it's not always easy to know when you should use class-based views and when you should use function-based views when you use Django. In this video I'm going to show a little flowchart that you can use to select which one fits you the best. So what type of view should you use? Can one of the generic class-based views easily be used? For example the list view or the detail view etc. If the answer here is yes, then you can also ask you this. Can you use a class-based view and just override attributes? For example, setting the limit of how many posts you should load and similar. And if the answer there is yes, then go for a class-based view. If the answer is no, that you can't use the class-based views easily, then you can ask yourself, do you need to subclass your views to create other views? For example, if you have a blog front page, a blog detail page, and a search page, and each of these are class-based views. If you need to subclass that there are data that are used on all of these three, then you can say yes, because there are code that you can reuse, which is very good. Then you can ask yourself, do I need to dive into the source code of Django to get it working as a class-based view? Because that can be a little bit tricky sometimes. And if the answer is there, no, you can actually do it without having to deep dive into the source code, then go for a class-based view. And if you do not need to reuse the code and similar, then you can ask yourself, will the class-based view be very hard to maintain and be very complex? For example, handling more than one form can be a little bit tricky in classes. And if you don't have to do that, you can still go with a class-based view. But if the answer to this is yes, then you should go for a function-based view. But in my opinion, you can actually do what you want to do yourself. There are no right or wrong answers. For example, me, I almost always just go for function-based views because that's what I like to use. I like how they look and they're easy to understand. And that was it for this video. If you have any questions about class-based views or function-based views, feel free to add a comment below and an answer as soon as I can. See you in the next video.